Yeah, hi everybody. I'm happy to present to you today a really short, quick and dirty tutorial about the Blackbox new uh, update for the firmware, the Blackbox 1.7 beta version. So far, I have to say that always the term beta makes a lot of people afraid that it might be not a final version, but the beta versions of... Um, 1010 music always had been extremely stable and great working. I, for example, went with this black box with a beta version on a whole North American tour, using it for all my live playing of samples and some backing tracks, and it completely worked perfectly through, although it was even falling twice down and got a little bit wet and all these circumstances. But this little machine is really like a survival kit. I would say the Swiss knife um, version of a Akai MPC or something. Okay, let's get into the black box 1.7. It's mainly a few new features which are helping a lot. And um, one of these features uh, is first of all, velocity. Now you can program vol velocity for each um, sequenced note. Um, you have now in the sequence window, um, this um, new button called event and now you can see here is down a little velocity so now I can select my notes and for example I stop here this pocket operator and give now for example the first always an extra loud level the second hi-hat a bit more silent this helps of course a lot with this velocity and it's really easy and to applicate here. Uh, the next function you can see on the right side is even much more astonishing and great because even big doors don't have it sometimes. It is like a play um, opportunity for each sequence notes, something what most people know from concepts uh, like from, um, yeah, what's their name? Uh, electron or uh, like some teenage engineering stuff, the new Ableton Live is also having this probability. Here it is now in this little black box first and I just go to another sequence, have a look in this. This is really fast notes normally, but I have put it a uh, play probability for each note. Always means that it's actually playing always, as it says. And if you put their um, probability, you can use between 99% down to to 1%. So with 1%, it almost plays not at all. Only thing what I critic a little bit is it could go faster because honestly, if you want to edit fast, um, it takes really some time to like get to the higher values. And let's be honest, it's not so important if the probability is now 51% or 52%. It's more about 50, 60, 70 or 30, 20. So this would be nice to achieve it faster. I now set this up and then we can see how it, depending on the probability, is played this cowbell sound. And also, of course, I can put here like extra volumes and edit a bit to make it more, let's say, lively. Wonderful function, a wonderful, great addition, especially the probability helps you a lot to get your, let's say, your pattern much more live sounding especially when you're playing fast notes and combined with the programming of the velocity it's a great function so with this event button directly in the sequence adding you can get into these two values the next great thing is about synchronization because uh, you now can choose um, the clock division meaning when you use an external clock with ppq you can decide um, how fast is it, it is taken? Is it double speed, half a tempo? And this is quite helpful because there is a few little hardware sequences who have it with a double speed, click, higher resolution, the others with a lower. 
and then it's more easy like to use your black box as kind of centerpiece for synchronization as it's having um you know a clock input and clock output and the good thing about it is i go to the tools and press clock that i can now decide how is interpreted interpreted the input signal from the pocket operator for example which goes here into the input and how it is then translated to the output for the next device. So right now I have here this pocket operator. I start the whole thing. I can now, of course, here change my tempo. So. Erase here some programming. Okay, and now I can, for example, decide that I interpret here four PPQs and translate it into double tempo for this pocket operator. Or half tempo. And of course, also how I interpret the incoming click signal. Double speed, of course. So this is a really nice function, which um, adds a lot of possibilities to have your system being the centerpiece for a small setup of uh, clock synchronization. And as I always use the black box, then also as my mixer for the signal, I really don't need a lot. I, for example, sometimes sitting somewhere in a coffee place, just having my black box, a little pocket operator, my headphone and a USB battery, and you can go on with it. Great thing. Another new functionality, which is really helpful, is um, on the pads. You can now decide what kind of polyphony you want to play the pad or how many voices you want to give to the pad that they are simultaneously played from that. Um, and now you can decide between monophonic play, duophonic play, quattro, so four voices, six voices, eight voices, or um, all possible voices. This helps a lot because you have, of course, to calculate, do a little bit math when you have a lot coming from them black box and thinking about to which part you want to give priorities just one example if you use the black box while playing it live also like for your backing track then it would be not nice if you kill for example your backing track because playing too many notes so basically it helps a lot if you now de decide the polyphony for each pad or let's say a pad can be also like a keyboard sound which you play when you connect it with a midi keyboard um, so this is a great new functionality some other features on the beta version is uh, that there is now a faster micro sd interface so how the data is read from the micro SD in the past, and this you can read all from the from the forum site in the past, there had been some troubles with some users when booting with this functionality. Now it seems to be fixed. I have personally to say I never had a trouble. I always used high quality um, micro SD cards and therefore it's working quite fine. The only limit where the black box so far went into limits was always um, when using too much granular, but that's then the limit of the processor inside. Um, the rest is a lot of little bug fixes, like with the filter and so on. But um, basically, this you all can find from the forum.1010music.com page. Don't forget to register yourself because when you're not registered, you search forever finding um, the download link for the firmware because you need to register with it. You can see the forum without registering, but not 
the download version so don't don't forget to do that it happened to me in the beginning i remember like a few years ago when i had my black box and i was searching like crazy and i needed then even to write an email to support why i don't find it and they just told me i have to register so sometimes it helps to read the messages which are on screen Anyhow, so much I can really recommend. Um, always Black Box had been extremely stable instrument. And I'm still amazed how much value you get for this price, um, what it costs, because it's really a multifunctional, I call it Swiss, Swiss tool um, as a sampler. So just download it. You can be sure it's working perfectly fine. A lot of thanks and kudos to, to Aaron, who is constantly working on the black box. Um, so, yeah, I hope you have a great weekend, a wonderful Christmas time. And just check uh, sometimes on my channel because I always have updates about newest versions from black box and many other uh, devices. Wonderful. Bye bye.